Cisco has just made H.264 codec free. What does that mean to you and me? Well, that's probably the most cheesiest way of speaking a title of an article, but just to point out to you, this is something seemingly way up there. To the end user, you're looking at going, oh yeah, whatever, what does that mean to me? It really doesn't mean absolutely anything to the person who is at the bottom of this massive totem pole of codecs, the end user, the person who views the videos. It might mean a tiny bit to the person who creates videos. It does mean something noticeable to people who create products that use H.264 codec. For example, DVD player manufacturers, MP3 player manufacturers, camcorder manufacturers who use the H.264 codec for compression of their files, video files, audio files, audio video files. Every time they make a product that uses the H.264 H. codec, they have to pay an organization called MPEG-LA a licensing fee. So Cisco decided out of the goodness of their heart to make it free for everybody under the BSD license. It'll cost them approximately $65 million, but that's over the coming decade. Now this is what the article says. Upon further research, I have discovered that it's possible it'll cost them next to nothing because there's a lot of stuff that they already pay for that may involve this H.264 codec as a sort of buy-in, as, as something that all automatically comes in with their massive deals. Now, the codec itself is the patent for the codec it's itself specifically is very complicated because you can create a product, a hardware product that uses the codec to read files or you can create a hardware product that uses the codec to write files or you can create a hardware product that uses the codec to read and write files or you could create, you know, it just goes on. Softwares could be writing and reading codecs Websites could be reading codecs and writing codecs. It depends on, for example, if YouTube, if you look at YouTube, not only does it read the H.264 codec when people upload videos that use that codec, but it also writes that codec because when you watch a YouTube video, you'll see it in different formats, in different resolutions, high definition or not high definition, and there's like three or four resolutions that they offer. Those are formatted using H.264 codec. So Google will have to pay MPEG LA a certain amount of money every year, which apparently now they don't have to. So Cisco has saved everyone $65 million over the next decade, which if you seriously think about it, it's not, it's peanuts. Because who is paying for this? Companies like Google, companies like Hulu, these are multi-billion dollar companies for them. A fraction of 65 million over the next 10 years is absolutely nothing. Even 65 million is absolutely nothing for Google, for example. In my personal opinion, based on the information that I've gathered about the H.264 codec, it seems to me that Cisco has become lazy with the paperwork as far as this thing is concerned or they did a price uh, uh, like a cost uh, versus the amount of work that they would have to do analysis and their lawyers said look it'll cost you more to charge people for the patent it'll cost you more to get royalties then to give it for free because the amount of paperwork that they would have to do to get the royalties might end up costing them after they pay the lawyers and governments and blah 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 hundreds of millions of millions of dollars versus the amount of money they'll get from the companies because keep in mind that any company that uses it would have to pay the royalties based on good faith how many of their products are sold with that codec God only knows because they could lie. 
they could say that they produced 100,000 mp3 players when in fact they produced 10 million mp3 players for example not only that after they have lied with the information in terms of how many products they imp implemented the h.264 codec they could also not pay so not only would Cisco have to accept less than how much they actually are owed but they may actually not even get paid that much because the company might say well we owe you uh, what is it a um, hundred thousand dollars we'll pay it whenever and then Cisco would have to spend two hundred thousand dollars to get a hundred thousand they must have done a cost return analysis and they must have come up with a serious answer guys forget about this this is way too tiny it's gonna cost you more to get the money than it's gonna cost you to give it for free because if you give it for free and release the information out to the news media it'll be a cool thing people will love you for it they don't know that it's actually costing you more <laughs> to get money from the patent than it's costing you to give it out for free imagine that that's a potentiality what do you think do you know anything about the h.264 codec to the point that you would be able to make a educated guess that hey you're right it actually would cost them more to collect royalties than if they gave it up for free and in the case of giving it up for free they get good word of mouth they get good will from people what do you think